friends, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. You guys loved when I shared how much an inmate spends the first week or what Adam considered necessity the first week that you get to jail or prison or that you move to a new jail or prison. So I promised you more information from this commissary list that he sent me quite a few years ago. I confirmed with him the prices are almost exactly the same as they were back then. So today what we'll do is we'll go through hygiene products. This list is so long. It's way too long for me to share in just one video. So we did the first week, we'll do hygiene today, then we'll do food and other clothing items that weren't included in that first video in separate installments, just so you're not sitting here for 45 minutes because nobody has 45 minutes to sit and watch a YouTube video, even in quarantine. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I helped loved ones of, I helped? No, I still do. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I help loved ones of the incarcerated. So if you want support and help supporting somebody who's in prison, I should work on that one. That sounds weird or if you wanna learn about prison or the people that support people in prison. This just sucks. I was trying a new intro, it's not working. So do me a favor and hit subscribe because I'm sure you could figure out what this is about by now. Here's the commissary list, let's go through hygiene. I have not really looked this over. I just looked over the different areas to figure out how I was going to do these videos. So I might be shocked by the information like I was on that first video. The first thing on the list is mint mouthwash, which is 235. Then black and white soap. What's black and white soap? I have to ask Adam. I was still curious when I was editing this, so I looked it up on a website that sells to corrections and a black and white bar of soap is just a marble bar. It didn't say what's in there. I'm assuming maybe Jamaican black castor oil mixed with regular white soap, but it's something cheap for sure. That's 325. It seems expensive. Neutrogena soap is 360. Shaving cream is 205. Aftershave lotion, this is actually AFTA shave lotion, AFTA. I guess maybe that's a brand or it's a typo. I don't know. That's 285. Menin antiperspirant white, that's 325. Menin deodorant green, that's 205. Degree antiperspirant and deodorant is 320. Dove soap is $1.80. Next one soap is $1. Tone soap is $1.15. Dial soap is $1.20. AIM toothpaste is $2.25. Colgate whitening toothpaste is $2.75. Sensor razors are $6.05. Sensor blades are $12.10. It doesn't say how many blades you get. Schick 12-pack razor disposable is $9.25. Disposable razor blades are $1.70. Lamisil is $13.30. A locker mirror is $2.45. An Afro pick is $0.50. Cents. A vented brush is $0.90. Cents. A wave brush is $2.90. A hairbrush is $1.25. Tweezers are $0.60. Cents. Fingernail clippers are $0.45. Cents. Toenail clippers are $0.90. Cents. A cocoa butter stick is $1.75. Styling gel for your hair is $2.80. Head and shoulders shampoo is $7.75. Whoo! Wow. Sewing kits are $1.95. A soap dish is $0.70. Cents. A toothbrush holder is $0.50. Cents. I'm assuming that's the travel ones we get that you take it apart. It's like a plastic little tube that you put your toothbrush in. I'm assuming. I don't know. Q-tips are $1.80. Shower shoes sizes 9 through 12 are 350. I wonder if your foot is smaller or bigger. I guess you just smush it in there. Not that you smush it in, but it would hang off the back. Foot powder is 260. Arda skin cream is is that how you say that? Artra? Arda? I don't know. 5.95. CC butter. I'm I'm assuming that's cocoa butter. Oh, Palmer's. Yeah, Palmer's CC butter is 5.30. Baby powder is 215. Tea gel shampoo is $6.70. Jergens lotion is $5.30. Suave shampoo is $1.85. Now, I don't know. I have to ask Adam. I don't know if these are travel size. I don't know what size you're getting, but the, everything is always gouged and marked up. So I'm sure you're getting teeny tiny little bottles for these prices where out here we would get a lot more product for the same price or less. Anti-dandruff medicated shampoo, I'm guessing, is $4.50. Skin lotion, skin lotion. I want to use something called skin lotion. It's probably the worst dollar store lotion that smells like, how do I put this? Dirty 
because that's what I think cheap lotion smells like. Sorry, girls and boys for the visual. More sorry, boys. Good thing we have mostly girls. Skin lotion is two sixty. Baby oil is two fifty five. Dandruff shampoo is a dollar forty. Didn't we just talk about head and shoulders for seven dollars? What are we talking about? So that means it probably doesn't work. I'm assuming. Pink oil moisturizer, five twenty. Sulfur eight. 370. What the hell is sulfur eight? That sounds scary. Petroleum jelly is a dollar twenty. Bump stopper. I'm assuming razor bumps. 385. Next hair conditioner is a dollar seventy-five. It says perfume oil, and then it says one with a dash, two with a dash, three with a dash, and four with a dash. So I'm assuming maybe you check if you want maybe scents, one, two, three, or four, and those are $4.75. I'm assuming each. Heritage Face Cream is $1.75. Curl Activator is $1.45. Murray's Promade, do they mean pomade? Is $2.35. Coconut Oil Conditioner is $2.30. Magic Shaving Cream is $4.05. Magic Shave Powder is $2.80. This is a microwavable bowl, but $2.85, but that's not really hygiene. Okay, that's weird that they have that with hygiene. And then we do have medication and health. So let's go through that. It's weird the way that this is broken up. They have a thermal mug with personal hygiene and then they have medication and health all broken separate. And then they have miscellaneous. But in miscellaneous, they have things like band-aids. But then they also have hair ties and that's where they have batteries and alarm clocks and watches and headphones and salt and pepper. So we'll just do this. It's not really the most organized, but that's not because I'm not being organized. I'm not the most organized person on the planet. In somebody's brain, this makes sense, but we all organize things differently. Okay, so let's go to medication. Insoles for your shoes, and then it says size blank, so I guess you fill in your size. Those are $9. Arch supports are $11.60. Corn remover, I don't know if that's a Band-Aid, if that's like a dropper, medication, or whatnot, but it's $4.80. Earwax remover is $2.35. Prilosec is $17.65. That seems expensive, but we'd probably pay that out here. I've never bought it, but that makes sense. Calcium antacid tabs, those are $3.65. Antacid liquid, that is $3.35. Stomach relief, which in parentheses it says Pepto, that is $3.05. Rolades are 95 cents. I'm assuming for like a teeny tiny little roll pack of them. Saline nasal spray is $1.85. Claritin is $8.45. I said that so New Jersey. Let's try that again. Claritin is $8.45 and I assume that that's for a very small package. Hopefully it's not a single package because I know out here for allergy medication that we pay when we buy over the counter, it's pretty expensive. Allergy tabs and then in parentheses, it says antihistamine. So I'm gonna assume that's like a really generic version of let's say Benadryl, but obviously very generic. That's $1.60. Gas X is $7.80, wow. Milk of Magnesia is $1.75, which they probably need in there because the food Oof, they probably don't go, especially the places where they don't have vegetables. Okay, let's just not go down that road. Metamucil is $5.85. Cough drops are 90 cents. Cough syrup, and in parentheses, it says diabetic, is $8.60. Aspirin is $1.45. Chest rub, so they don't have a name brand here. I'm assuming it's an off brand of Vicks or something like that. And that's $2.10. Ibuprofen, it says ibuprofen in parentheses, like Advil. <laughs> That's 265. Pain reliever, in parentheses, like Tylenol. So it's a really, really bad generic version of those medications. It's a really bad version of acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen, acetaminophen, whatever, for 230. Okay, I think we're gonna stop there. To me, this doesn't feel as marked up as it probably is because I'm like, oh, that's what I pay. I pay around that. I pay a little less for that. I pay a little more for that. But the difference is you're probably paying this much money for the less than dollar store version of these products. So 
Adam told me one time he had, he's a really bad bulging disc or two maybe in his back to the point where the discs are basically dead and all they're doing is just causing a ton of pain. And so for a while they were prescribing him naproxen, which is a leave. And what he had to do was, because they don't carry that on the commissary, so the doctor prescribed it, the doctor there, the PA, physician's assistant that works there, prescribed this for him. They would go out and they would buy it, they being the staff members there, they would go buy it, then he would have to order it through commissary. And he said for a teeny, teeny, tiny little bottle, basically what we would get at the dollar store, seven pills, something like that, he paid something like eight, nine, ten dollars for. So although this seems like not a big deal, my gut is telling me and all of my experience is telling me and from what you guys saw on the last video when a pack of three generic boxers that are the rejects of the real ones that we would get at, let's say, Walmart for $5 being generous, they were paying over $30 for. So I know that this stuff is just small, not many in the bottle or the tube that they're getting it in, but at least it's available and they don't just have to use state issued toothpaste that is literally paste, like glue. You wouldn't wanna brush your teeth with it. Or soap that is this big, it dries out your skin, it's hard, it doesn't lather. So they do have options. And remember, this is prison. This is a medium security prison where this is coming from. So this is not jail. I don't know what their options or if they have options in county jail. So if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much to get Adam's story out there, to get my channel out there, and to get our story as people who support people who are incarcerated out there because there's so much ignorance, not by anybody's fault. It's just that people don't understand. They think three hots in a cot, do the crime, do the time, and all the stuff that I don't need to repeat, but it just helps me out so much. And then also subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss a video. And I have people who always fight over first like, first comment, and it's so fun. So you'll have a chance to do that if you ring that bell. I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I love you guys. Let me know what you wanna see next from the commissary list. Do you want food? Do you want food and drink? Cause there's pouch goods, there's snacks, there's sodas, candy and beverages. There is a whole section for ice cream that's hysterical or clothing and then miscellaneous. So you guys, maybe I'll take a poll. I don't know, but let me know in the comments what you guys wanna hear next and or if you want it all in one big video, but I don't think that'll be fun to watch. I think it'll get boring. Stay strong. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.